What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you're on a fantastic day today, and today I have a very exciting model review for you all. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NG Models 1 to 400 scale United Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 10. This is my first ever 737 MAX 10, I think it's going to be a really cool addition to the collection. So without any further delay, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this box, and I'll bring back the model, and we'll take a look at that. So let's just go ahead and get started. So here's the box, of course, you got the typical features for NG with the aircraft type. Again, my first 737 MAX 10, so that's what says there on top and you got all the applicable box features here in this particular case they went for a really interesting kind of gradient design here on the box so you can kind of see the globe over there top and bottom you got the united build or united titles there rather registration number 27753 which i think will be the first max 10 for united here's the logo right here on the foreign scale it'll be interesting to see when this aircraft goes into service but i actually got this one from the texan airplane store during airline international 2024 at kansas city here's the back of the box all of it looks really nice and so excited to have my first 737 MAX 10 by NG Models in this case. So let's go ahead and take a look at the model. So yeah, it's a really good one. Once again, NG did a very good job in this mold. Of course, uh, I've been very excited to get new aircraft types and the 737 MAX 7 and 10 were two new ones for me. So I think they're going to be really great additions. But this particular example for United is a really good looking plane. And I really like the uh, additional length there. That's kind of nice for different. So yeah, uh, it looks just like a really beefed up Max 10. So that's really sweet. So let's not waste any for, or sorry, Max 9 rather. So let's just go ahead and get into the aircraft and really see what it's all about. I'll go ahead and lower the camera here for all of you so we can get a better view of it. So let me go ahead and zoom her on in. And let me get the board a little bit closer as well here to the camera so we can really get a good view of it here without the uh, headphone wire, of course. It's kind of tough to angle it all up. I'm still getting used to the setup. I really hope all of you like the uh, board. Let me know what you think of it. I've been really happy with it so far. So hopefully all of you feel the same way as well. But let's not waste any further time and go ahead and get started with the NG United 737 MAX 10. So here's the cockpit windows right here. I think they did a good job on those. They look really nice in this particular case. Then you got the nose cone, which are also, uh, they did a great job on the 737 MAX nose cone. So definitely no complaints here. And overall, I think it looks really nice. So that's definitely really cool to see right there. Here's the nose landing gear. And you see the nose landing gear door where it has E-tops. And then the last four of the registration, in this case, 7753, along with the great detail there, the red line and the nose landing gear, which all that looks really nice. And they put it together very nicely. So I'm definitely really glad to see that. Uh, connecting people united the world titles right here of course pedo tubes and then you got the cheat line which is nice and fluid uh, the printing on these ng models is just absolutely superb it's one of the best in the one the 400 landscape so no complaints here with that particular offering here's the l1 door which looks really nice here Got the great window and lever details that you would hope for so that's wonderful to see and then, of course you got the united billboard titles which look really great on this aircraft too uh, seems a little bit more spread out, but I think that's actually how it's going to be, which is just different relative to what I've been used to seeing. So definitely an interesting note right there. You're going to have some sort of first class up here. I'm not sure if they're going for like probably 210 seats, maybe or somewhere around there on this plane. They don't have an official number yet, so I'm sure it's going to be around that range. So first class will be up here. And then, of course, Economy Plus will probably start somewhere in this range where the windows are missing, I'm sure. So that will definitely go in that area. And the antenna down there too also looks quite nice. Let's get a little bit of a better view on that. So you can see they did a good job on that one. So that's definitely cool to see. All right, so you got the rest of it here and we may lose some sun here. So I apologize, got some thunderstorms way out there. So you got uh, the rest of the titles here again, spread out, really different, but I think it looks good. So no complaints there. You can see the rest of those titles and then the cheat line of course goes under the wing right there, which is quite beautiful. I love this board. I know I've talked about that in the last several updates or last several reviews but it just looks so great and hopefully it's adding a whole new element to these model reviews so let me know what you think in the comments i'd appreciate it but anyway it looks really great going underneath there and curving up and here's the beautiful engines right there the lev engines which are nice and level they do a really good job putting those together so this aircraft is no exception to that and overall i think it looks really nice the pylon looks good there and then we'll take a look here at the wing where you got the emergency exits and the pad for it then you got the slats right here really great detail love the blue winglets they look so cool on this so great job here by none other than ng models for getting it down in this particular case so that's absolutely wonderful you got the back right here where you can see the speed brakes and the other details it looks really great no curvature in the wing as well which is nice and fluid and again just the indentations and the amount of detail that goes into these is just incredible so a really great job by ng as always for nailing it down with this particular aircraft and it looks really nice so leading edge light also there kind of uh, apologize for forgetting the hint of that the first time so it looks really great you got the main landing gear there which are great and of course they do roll what more would you expect and they look really nice rolling around on this particular airport board got the top antenna there before coming into the back here where you see the 
Bottom two antennas, which are really nice. Cool to see that feature translate over from the other NG molds, so that's great. You got the Wi-Fi box here too, which uh, I'm not sure if these are gonna have an outline on top or not. I know the Southwest ones, for example, do, but I'm not sure if the United ones will, so. Uh, I'll cut them some slack considering that this aircraft's not even in service yet, of course. So not too big of a deal. If I need to sell it and get the updated version later, I'm happy to. But nevertheless, just wanted to get it because who knows when it'll be released again. And luckily the light going away wasn't too bad there. We still have uh, quite a bit of light to work with on this plane. All right, so the emergency exit door seems wider than the Max 9. Might just be my eye, but you can certainly see that there. That takes us on to the back where we have just the rest of the economy throughout here on the second half. So. Looks really great, and overall, I think they did a really good job putting all the details together. Windows look nice, and then cheat line goes all the way up there to the top. Then you got the registration of this aircraft, uh, which is November 27753. You got the stubby antenna, which is a great detail to get the shaping of that right. So great job there by NG, as always, for nailing that one down in this particular case. Uh, like the rest of the aircraft, really. Speaking of which, they got the tail down on this aircraft for sure. The blues are really nice, and it looks... Uh, Seems like the lines maybe are a little thick on the globe, but that might just be my eye just messing around with me again. Uh, it looks great regardless, and I think they did a really good job. Cheat line goes all the way up there, horizontal stabilizers, APU, all the rest of the details. It looks quite nice, and I love the uh, gradient up there on the tail, of course. I know I've mentioned that several times, so uh, looking really nice. The right side of the aircraft's also really great. You got the uh, windows on this side, which is nice, so hopefully that wasn't just a missed feature on the other side, hopefully that's just supposed to be like that, which again, I don't know much about the Max 10, so I won't speak too much on that. We do have both baggage doors, one in the front right there, and then the rear one's really far back there. It's right next to the registration, which is pretty unusual for narrow body planes to have it that far back. But Max 10, of course, is working on being a wide body. It's not quite there, obviously, but it definitely has some, uh, some real leverage there in reference to the design. So definitely really nice to see that right there. Top of the aircraft looks really nice. I think they did a really good job with the beacon and other features. Uh, also a good time just to kind of look at the mold. I know it's probably supposed to be on the board, but I kind of picked it up, so I apologize. And the bottom looks really nice. Stand hole is great. Oh, they have a stand hole on the this one. That's great. So obviously the previous 737 uh, next generation plane didn't have a stand hole. So this one actually has a stand hole, which is awesome. So I'll have to start keeping eyes on it. Uh, I don't remember on the Max 7 whether that did or not. And I don't have one right next to me that I can grab, but I know uh, they didn't have stand holes, so that's really great to see that this one does have a stand hole on it. So hopefully that's a sign that they'll start integrating that into future 737-800s and all those planes. So really great to see a stand hole there. I was not expecting that, so that's awesome. So I'll be able to put this one on final approach into model airports, so that's great. And the rest of it looks really nice. So overall, it's a really great aircraft. So let me put it back on the board and I'll kind of give you some spin around so you can see what it looks like. So overall, uh, get it out of macro mode first and foremost. Overall, it's a really good aircraft. I think NG did a really good job with this mold. Uh, now again, obviously there's none of these flying in real life yet, so it's a little bit tough to get it all perfect, but uh, it should just be a clone from the Max 9, just with some etched to length, and I think they got it down in this case. So yeah, it's a really great aircraft. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking to prepare for the 737 Max era uh, for United and uh, fleet build and all that. So it's cool that it has an actual registration and all that. So congratulations on NG for being the first to it. And then coming up soon, we'll have the Gemini 737 Max 9. Got a little behind on model orders due to airliners and all the other events, so that's why it's taking a little bit of time to get caught up here, but hopefully all of you are enjoying the videos. I really like this board. Let me know what you think in the comments. I know I've talked about it in the last several videos with the reviews, but it definitely is adding new character here, and I think it looks really nice. So excited for the future of it, and I hope each and every one of you are as well. A great model here. I'd highly recommend it once again if you're interested, but nevertheless, that'll do it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Roger Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe just process no 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 and no 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 you can't go macro mode when i'm trying to do the outro come on now it's not cool at all but nevertheless uh, i really hope all of you enjoyed this video thank you all so much for watching take it easy everybody stay safe just process do you love and love you do my name is Red aviation i want to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all soon as Red aviation is signing off